Hey there, and thanks for joining me again. So today I want to show you a really cool trick you can do with what is sometimes referred to as a seed program. So what I've done here is taken the time to create a custom report header and have variable information prompting the operator to enter certain information which will then be plugged into that report header. So what we need to do is have this at the beginning of every program. So what typically might happen is you would open this program you see here and then save it under a different name. So what I want to do is create an icon or a button that will just automatically insert those six trace fields you see there and then we can just proceed with our program. So no need to rename the program. Just open a program as you, as you wish. Call it what you like. And then we'll just click a button and that information will be inserted automatically. Okay, so I'll show you how we do it. So with the information you see here in this program, what we'll do is just export it to a basic file. So that's found under File, Export, Basic. So we'll just put this in a folder somewhere where we can remember it. Uh, I just have it on my desktop here. I'll give it a name. I'll just call it Trace Fields. And Export. And that's that. Next step, we need to find that folder. So I'll just browse my computer for that. Okay, so there it is there. It's a .bas extension. Let's open that up. So here's the tricky part. So this is all the visual basic code that PCDMS needs to insert that information into the program. But we don't need all of that. So what we'll do is delete everything between this line here, DMS commands dot insertion point. So just click on that line below that, scroll down until we see our trace fields. And right there. So that's right up to the point where I begin entering my trace fields. So we'll just delete that and we'll save our changes. And we can close this file now and go back to PCDMS. And there we go. So it's saved on our computer and we'll now just browse to that. So what we're going to do is right click the toolbar area, go to customize, and what we'll do is create an item. So this is a user defined item. In the command file field, we'll browse for that, that basic file we just created. So that's on my desktop in this folder. So we'll need to change the type. So the default is executable. It's looking for an executable, but we want the basic script. Just give that a click. And there you go. So it's inserted there in the command file line. Uh, so the next thing we want to do is change the icon. So what you'll need to do prior to this step is actually just browse or just Google for a free icon. And you'll look for an image that you like. Um, I've just chosen a very generic type of an image. Uh, the, the key is that it has that .ico extension, so it's a special file type. But you'll need to do that ahead of time, which I have done. So I'll just browse for that, what I've chosen. So I've just chosen a very generic shape here, just a plus symbol. Give that a click. OK. There you go. So that's what the icon will look like on my toolbar. That's it. So I'll just click OK. And now what we can do is insert that onto an existing toolbar. So what I'll do is go to Quick Measure. It's a toolbar I always have on. And now in the user defined commands, we'll see that icon that I just created. And I call the trace fields. There it is. So I'll add that to an existing toolbar. And you should see that appear now at the end of my quick measure toolbar. You can see it up there at the end. Okay, so let's see if that worked. So let's close this program. 
so if this works we no longer need to open that C program so I'll just call this whatever call it uh, medium anvil click OK so we'll accept that probe file so now all we need to do is click our button and those trace fields are inserted automatically so isn't that cool it's a little tricky but uh, if you just follow the instructions I provided uh, it should be no problem well thanks for joining me and we'll see you next time hey so while I've still got your attention I just wanted to take a moment to promote our e-learning training program if you like my tech tips then you may want to check out our series of instructional e-learning videos our CMM e-learning courses are internet-based and cover the complete PCDMS training courses from start to finish. This will be the same material covered in our classroom training with the added convenience of allowing you to view them whenever and wherever you want. For more information, please visit the training section of our website.